All right, hello everybody and welcome to what has probably been our first series in quite a long time. What am I saying? It, it has been a long time. Today we are going to be starting episode one of our scavenger run series. And if I go over here and take a look at my rules for this that Bren has so kindly written up for us, there are there are rules for this scavenging playthrough. Anything for the difficulty is going to be fine, but I think I already know which difficulty I'm going to pick. We're going to be playing with Randy Random and we do have some limitations. So our limitations for this run are going to be that we cannot make our own weapons or armor. All we can do is salvage and recycle aside from primitive weapons such as bows and clubs. The exception to this is going to be the Rimsnow Fail Faction Pack, which I'll have linked down in the description below. I'll have all these things linked in the description below, which has scrapper armor and scrapper weapons, which helps fit the style of this playthrough. So those will be okay. For more limits, we can't build anything outside of rooms, walls, and security. But in doing this, he says we can start with a vanometric power cell and a turret for starting security. I am debating whether I'm going to start with that or not because I do believe we can still research and do all that. We just can't make our own weapons and our own armor aside from primitive stuff. The rest of it, I believe, is okay because we do have androids in this. For making things, he did mention we can build a factory and do automation such as that to make weapons and supplies. Since we are doing a scavenger run, I don't think that we will be getting so far as to build a factory because we'll be moving around a lot. Uh, the goal is obviously to get off the planet. We'll see how far we get. And that should be it. I think that is... Uh... Oh yes, there are some side goals I'll have in the description down below for us to keep track of is a herd mentality. Have a herd of at least 20 of the same pack animal. That's a fun one. Richest man on the rim world. Have a silver value of a million using jade, silver, gold, or bake notes as your valuing system. And the other one is see if they break in, which is make a vault and store all your gear. That'll probably be later on when we're getting lots of raids. Say hello to my little friend. Obtain a legendary assault weapon. Can be rapid fire, uh, assault rifle like weapon. Any legendary assault weapon. And then Tony should be proud, which is sell 1000. Yayo in a single transaction. And then we have Utinili with what the heck have one of every mechanoid you can get. Advanced mechanoids don't count as different variants and war crimes. Have a thousand canned meat made from human flesh. That one would we would be needing to make a factory to do that one. So we're going to start off with making a new colony. That is going to be too much very quick. To start our colony, we're going to be doing the crash landed here. I guess we'll do crash landing hard to make this very interesting. All your colonies will crash land hard on an unknown rim world, there is a chance that all of your colonists will land incapacitated or dead. You'll need to accept the fate of your crew. So that'll be difficult for us. And we're going to do strive to survive difficulty because I want to focus more on the adventuring here, which I know blood and dust and losing is fun are always fun. But I want to adventure a bit this time around. I want to have a lot more fun with this one. All right. And now generate our world. Actually, I should have done 50% for the, the world map size. That's unfortunate. As you can see, we have the world beautification project running on here with us. So that should make things very interesting. And we have the, the elders faction added in here. It looks like they're hostile to us. That's going to be good when we don't want to be anywhere near an army of psych casters. That's going to suck. All right. I want to have river. I want to have, well, I mostly want to have a lot of roads since we're going to be traveling around a lot. And I'd like our starting area to be somewhere where we can at least recuperate because we're probably going to be doing a lot of, we're probably just going to have a giant trauma center right after we start the game. After everybody comes crashing down from space, probably going to be really brutal. Tropical rainforest has a higher chance of us getting disease, but it looks evenly placed from some of these places. Where's this? Are they hostile? Absolutely. Absolutely hostile. And then we have the Dragon's Rock over here. Hmm, hmm. Very, very, hmm. All right, we'll hit next here. And now we'll take a look at our colonists. Who do we want to start with? All right, so we have an undergrounder, masochist brawler, nimble, incapable of dumb labor and has Alzheimer's. You've already been banned from the team there. The chance of them dying is just so, there's going to be so much fire when we start. <laughs> we cannot have someone who won't do fire. Corrupt memory, decaying. Hmm, you're the most useless robot ever, except your shooting is 16. Even with all your, your disabilities here, but your medical is high and your melee and shooting is high, we're going to have to take them. The fact that they're a robot is going to be useful. The down Downside is they literally won't do anything other than these things. That's a massive trade-off, actually. I don't know if it's worth it. I guess we could have them out hunting and stuff a lot. We really wanted to really, really focus in on any combat. It'd be good to have someone like that, but we don't really have the technology to deal with. This might be better, actually. We'll take you. Then you can hop out of here. How are you? You're underground brawler masochist. Name you. Graphics, man. There we go. And then you. You're incapable of violence. Can't have that. Can't have that at all. Artery blockage in the heart. And an old gunshot. Do we want to deal with heart issues? Probably not. Probably not, indeed. This one's pretty basically skilled, but she won't fight fire, which sucks. Now we have our last one here. Once again, incapable of violent. Quick sleeper, brawler, and ascetic. Whole body is cradle sleep sickness. We'll take you. All right. And now we will name you Phil Swift. That seems pretty good to me. Phil Swift. I always change all the names because I can't remember which one is the one that affects them. And we have a little illuminator here who won't fight any fires. We call you Butt Stallion. Butt Stallion. 
All of you will probably die, but at least we named you well. All right, so these are the people we're going to start off with. It is going to be a very difficult crash landing, so let us get into it. Again, all the rules for this run will be linked in the description below. I will also include in that what map seed we're running so you can join us, as well as the mod list, so you can follow along and play along and enjoy this ride with Nubit. King Nubit. Yes, me. All right, your colonists awake in their quite a sleep sarcophagi to the sound of blaring sirens and ripping metal. Nobody is able to reach the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Nobody wants to hear me talk about this because we played the game a million times. Moving on. Prido sleep block crash. That was violent. Large spaceship crash. All right. So how are we looking here on landing? Immediately, I want to check health. There is no immediate danger to you. You, Phil Swift, are going to die. Very painfully, in fact. Let's go to furniture over here. And immediately, I told you guys we were going to have like a trauma center right out the gate. I'm going to build these near the rocks where fire won't spread as much. And I'm going to make sure everybody's got doctor enabled. Eh, bed rest, doctor, all that fun stuff. All right, you need to go and rescue. The food container has crashed. All right, and then we want to immediately start putting out fires over here as well. All right, so expand home area to include this. We're going to menu priorities, and firefighting is most definitely our number one. But Stallion, how's your health looking? No immediate danger. I think you will rescue, and then he will go put out fire. And we are going to be working on putting out the, the death over here. So far, manageable. That's only so far. This will quickly become unmanageable. I don't think we'll stay here long. All right, your health is needed. No immediate danger. And for you, is also no immediate danger. All right, medicine container crash. We're actually going to have to haul for that one. What do we got here? CBD. <laughs> Variable medicine. A sack of knowledge. What the heck? This sack contains some anima fibers and other ingredients you haven't ever seen. Very strange, but pawn that consumes these herbs receives a silic. Well, that would be useful. Then we have the basic nano kits and some other stuff. Um, actually more important than the food you're trying to protect right now. So stockpiles will just make it in the corner of the mountain right here, away from all the flames and, and death. Clear the home area. We'll probably have you prioritize the hauling of the nano kits over here. The android is more important than person you can work longer. Also, how's your health? No immediate danger. All right. Looks like it just dropped steel and guinea pigs. Oh, and a machining table. Okay. How are you doing right now? We have to enable self-tend as well. This prior is tending to butt stallion. This one's not dying anytime soon. Where is our graphics man at? All right, graphics man. Right of sleep block crash. How is this? Holy crap balls. You caught graphics man on fire with that one. Is this one still alive? No immediate danger. How is his bio looking? Actually worth keeping. Are you alive? Oh, you're gonna die. You're you're very dead. Oh, and you would have been so great to keep. Graphics man, prioritize the rescuing of him. Actually, no immediate danger to him. Please rescue that one. You, please rescue that one. Don't catch on fire, please. You need to, if you can. Oh, you can't walk on your own. That's bad. We have two deaths and an animal pod crash. The world is on fire. That's fine. Oh my gosh, all the medicine's on fire too. That is beyond horrific. Where's the other lady at? Phil Swift, why are you laying down? Phil Swift, you have no immediate danger to your life. Phil Swift, why? 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 Oh, you're up there. You're heading that way with them though. There's fire that way. Don't go that way. Actually, yes, do go that way. Did you just drop them? All right. Crito sleep block crash. Is that another one? It is another one. Everybody alive over here that's going to be alive. Death in eight hours bio. There is a lot of people that need help and we cannot help all of them. Okay, this is medical bed. Take him and rescue him. Please do the thing. You are going to need to get up on your own. Yeah, your left arm is pretty shredded. Yeah, that doesn't work for us very well, does it? Um, as for all of that fun stuff, though, don't go that way, graphics man. It's not worth it to go that way, graphics man. Don't go that way, graphics man. <laughs> Stop going that way. Rescue that one and then please snag that and yeah, the medicine just burn up immediately. We can at least get this for graphics man. Phil Swift is going to have to learn to get up on their own. Resource container has crashed. It is nothing but jade. We don't want that. We don't want that. I'm pumping up our colony value a ton right now. Everybody over here is dead. Oh boy. What a great way to start out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness indeed. Okay. You're not dead yet though, are you? No, but you'll probably die in a couple hours. Alright. Furniture. Sleeping spot. Put it up here. Make it medical. Graphics man. How are you doing on the tending of this one? Death in two hours. Holy crap. Bill Swift. How are you doing health wise? No immediate danger. That is good. Please rescue Sato over here. He's on fire. What the heck? Another food container crash. I wouldn't even bother going to that one. Just take him to this one. Rescue Mr. Sato. Provide that medical attention. Alright, we got five over here. You need to get up. You need to get up now. You need to find a way to get up. You're gonna burn to death. What is Phil Swiss bio? That's a shame. That's a real shame. Zone. Expand home area. Maybe put this fire out real quick. Stabilize Kolo over here. Oh, we can't save him. 
Yeah, we saw that one coming a mile away. Is there any medicine around here we can make it run for anywhere? In all this fire. Phil Swift, you're gonna die. You're gonna die in the fire. <laughs> wow. Such a brutal game. All right. How are we doing up this way? There's weapons up here. We'd probably like to snag those at some point. You're missing your head, Nico the Recruiter. Beds up this way. Doesn't look like it. How are you doing health-wise, by the way? Okay, no immediate danger, but we do have some basic injuries. How are we doing? There's no immediate danger on these ones. I cannot believe Phil Swift survived that. Does Phil... Did did she even get burnt? Nope. Wow. <laughs> we died. Oh, yeah. We were not able to get to you in time at all. There's too much fire in between us. Salas over here, are you alive? Death in three hours. How is this one doing? This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be super tough. The crashing is over. That's good to know. What do we got around here? There's already beds up that way, which would be good for letting everybody heal up. Let's pause and take uh take count of our what we got going on around us here. All right, let, yeah, let's pause and take 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 a look at what the the toll we've we've dealt, been dealt here is. Is there any heal route around here we can quickly harvest along with berries we need for food? I don't want to go that far up into the corner, but it might be their best bet. Looks like all the jade survived. We'll come back for that later, I guess. I don't want to move into another area that's been doused in fire either. I think we're gonna have to take it anyways. All right, orders, claim it, medical, all of it. Order the chopping of all the trees up here, and then stockpile zone can be right in here. Come down this way. How is everybody's condition? Stabilized, hopefully, I believe. No immediate danger for any of you. That is good. How's your health? No immediate danger for you either. That's good. Oh, he died. That's unfortunate. We're gonna go grab Phil Swift for us over here. Slowly making our way up north here. Graphics man is <laughs> tempting to do some saving over here. All right, how are we doing health-wise over here? No immediate danger. Coel died. No danger here. No immediate danger here. Actually, no, this is gonna be immediate danger very quickly. Very, very quickly. Graphics man, I'm gonna have you go and prior to standing tight yourself, actually. And then Butt Stallion haul Phil Swift off for us. It'd be a pretty terrible blow to lose our one and only Android. All right, and then up this way, we have you two. I'm gonna make you prioritize plant cutting above all else for the moment. Actually, no, we have the, uh, the little stone hedge here. Hopefully that will protect us. Alness needs rescue. Rescue. rescue Sato, please. All right, then food-wise, we're gonna need food pretty quickly here, and there's not much to go around. Oh boy, the heck! Oh, that's nice. All right, just butcher some animals. We don't even need to hunt them. That is going to work in our favor. Gravix man's on his way to grab a nano cut, do some healing. Gravix man's in a work frenzy. We got a major break risk over here. How's your needs looking? You are starving to death. Okay. Duction, butcher spot, punch the guinea pig. Oh my gosh, I didn't think that through at all, did I? Please rescue wind. How's the guinea pig doing? The guinea pig is totally fine. That's embarrassing. That's horrifically embarrassing. Okay, is there berries anywhere? How are you doing bleeding wise? Hopefully, hopefully slowing down. Yeah, good, very good. Bills, add to bills. Butcher creature do forever. He looks like he is an idiot. I don't know how he failed to fight the darn animal, but okay. How valuable is this thing? Oh my lord. Why don't you haul that back with you, graphics man? Looks like the fires are finally calming down. First order of business today is going to be food. Graphics man, where are you? It's going to become an issue so quickly. All right, how is your needs? You're not ready to snap just yet. All right, that'll be your job then. Yes, I know. Very many deaths. Very, very sad. Very sad, very sad. Indeed. Graphics man is beginning to do a bit better. A little bit better. We have a lot of decent stuff around here too, actually, that survived the flames. I mean, it's all mostly raw materials, like our, our jade here. This is actually like a small blessing that the these animals' corpses survived. I mean, the animals didn't, but the, the meat did, which is what we're after, so. All right, and then we have to cook that because we can't handle food poisoning right now. Build roof area. Yes. Just make sure everybody's capable of doing everything for right now. All right, butt stallion. Then furniture. Where is temperature control at? Let's make a campfire real quick. Hilda, please make campfire. I know everybody's having an awful time. Don't eat that, Hilda. Please don't eat that. It's not worth it, Hilda. You haul that back with you. A sack of knowledge. Okay. Slowly but surely making progress over here. We don't actually have weapons right now, so we can't really do much to deal with our food problem. How's Phil Swift doing? Better-ish. How's this? Is this almost grown? Alright, how are we doing for heal root? That didn't burn. Did all of it burn? Did all of it burn? Do we have no heal root? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. It all burned. I mean, that one that's way off in the edge of the map is, like, the most grown. There's always a chance they'll mess up the harvesting, so that's great. What a terrible start. Yeah, you're very hungry, I'm aware. You're almost there, though. You're almost there. Who got an infection? Wind has gotten an infection. All right. Soul. You have to make yourself some food here. Oh gosh, don't do that. Yeah, come on. You got this. You got this. <laughs> How are you doing food wise? Yeah, go ahead and eat your meal. Graphics man, where are you at? You do not do this and you do not patient. We just need to get everybody their health back first and try to avoid some of these mental breaks. It's going to be rough. We need to get heal root immediately for, for wind's infection here. How's this looking? somewhat grown. Graphics man doesn't move that fast, so it's 
take him so long to move all the way across the map and come back with medicine for us. How are we doing over here, Phil Swift? The graphics man, please prioritize butchering at the butcher spot. It's going to take so long for us to just keep going back and forth, so that will be your objective. The warg is the last one over there, too. At least the warg has a lot of meat on it, so that should do us pretty well. It should do us very well, actually. We will pick up that warg. Graphics man, Hilda, where are you going? You are not going to feed them people. Not yet. We can do is haul this away. We'll get rid of these. Oh, I guess we'll make them a number four. I don't really want them to be doing that too often when they're not good at it, so. All right, zone. We do have good growers here, so we'll do this. And and start growing our own heel root. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Here it is. Oh, really? That sucks. Rice. We actually need a lot of it. So as soon as you can get on that. Floors. Tilled floor. Please do. Graphics man, where are you? You're on your way back, graphics man. Good. Good graphics man. Major break. Who's going to snap on us? What are your needs? You're just starving. Yeah. We. I think we're all in the same boat on that one. Where's the berries at? There's not really any on this map. There's not really any berries. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there really isn't. Oh, here we go. Since you are oh, of the very starving, we're going to send you down this way. And you can go get your berries. Did anything survive? down this way. Is this heal root done yet? No, it's not. I think wind might just be screwed. I don't really know what we could possibly do to help wind out. Oh, they're feeding them people. Oh god. I think a lot more people are gonna die on this group as well, which sucks. Sucks a lot. What the heck? <laughs> Oh my god, that almost killed graphics, man. He said us hemp biocomposite made for- Used as a sustainable alternative for metals slightly greater tensile strength than metal. Well, that's good to know. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. No, stop. It's all banned. You can have cooked meals from him. graphics, man. But you, you will not be- Graphics, man, you're not done yet, graphics, man. Get back here. Graphics, man, I don't have enough material to cook. Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing on this order is we need to gather food. It's going to take way too long for us to really, uh, it's going to take way too long for us to make rice, of course. And there's no berries on the map, which means we got to hunt. And we would like to make, let's say, three bows. Graphics man will put you on that. Actually, who has the highest crafting skill? Nobody. Okay. <laughs> Irrelevant. We were making progress. We'll have you finish this one. We need to get food immediately, which kind of is rough. Not nope, you're good, bud. All right, come this way. Where is the nearest guinea pig? How good is he with a bow? Not good at all. Who is good with a bow? Sato. Sato, my Sato. Please equip the short bow. And then tag along with graphics van over here. Wind died. Yeah, we saw that one coming a mile away. That being said, let's build a big old grave over here in the corner. We put soul on that. And then graphics man, we will have you prioritize the butchering of that guinea pig. Soul, we need you to go grab one more. Zones, dumping stockpile. Build one right here. Sato, please haul the guinea pig. How'd you botch digging a hole? It's a hole. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, I know. Both at the same time. Oh my good. Two for two. That's pretty bad. Yeah, finish this, please. Just take care of that, please. Expand this zone a little bit here. And we need to get more food even still. All right. Sato, who went and gathered all that food, didn't get a single bite of it. That's pretty terrible. Badly malnourished. Sato, come this way. Oh, shit. Rescue Sato, please. And then graphics man, this way immediately. We need to feed Bud Stallion. Or right, Sato. Sato needs to eat. Great. We're going to have more fire. That's always fun. Come on, graphics man. You've been training your whole life for this. This is what you were built for. The two of you need to pull it together. And Hilda, you need to prioritize planting these. Come on. Oh, we're just going to leave graphics man to his own thing. How are we doing over this way? Not so toasty. Not so toasty at all. Okay. Um, food, 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 food. I think it would have been better if earlier on we had just sent graphics man out with the jade to buy food from our closest neighbors. Wonder if that's still an option. How is he doing? He doesn't have a lot of energy. How close are they? Actually kind of far away. Okay. All right, graphics man, go haul that one off. Yes, feed him to Sato. That's pretty gross. I'm sorry, Sato. But Stallion is doing their thing. We'll go to schedule and we'll just schedule everybody to any anything whenever. They'll sleep when they're tired anyways. No sense in ordering it. All right, structure. Let's get this finally closed off. But Stallion, if you'd like to take that on, that'd be beautiful. Set this for not medical. And then rescue Sato and bring him indoors. And then for, where is it at? Uh, ch -ch -ch miscellaneous. Oh, we don't have the uh, resources for that. That's fun. We definitely need to continue avoiding any more mental degradation of our colonists. So let's get that one buried. You two are not working at all anymore. That sucks. Sato, how are you doing health-wise? You just needed that one little bit. Sato, if you're capable of moving, I'm sorry to say this, but you need to go hunt again. We need to put you back out there. I think our best bet would be hunting alpaca, probably. I'll have to send graphics man with him. Graphics man, I'm gonna bury that one. All right, how are you doing health-wise, Sato? We're just brutalizing these colonists. Does he have an infection? No, he just has asthma. This is pretty savage. I gotta admit, this is very savage. Graphics man, you're like the only other one kind of gonna hunt. Everybody's gonna have to deal with the colonists left and buried thing. Someone who is still up here can just build a table. At least that will. We can try and get rid of that mood buff. But Stallion, if you want to make that your goal. Freaking hell, but 
Blood Stallion. At least we don't own anything valuable for Sato. So we have, what is it, uh, two Sad Wanderers and, oh boy, yeah, not doing so hot, not doing so hot at all. We go to this and then make growing priority above all else. Just make everything else a four for now. Sato, how are you doing? The graphics man is going to take that alpaca. Hopefully we can get Sato here to help out a bit. Sato is our best shot, so he'll stay here and shoot. Actually, we'll probably have to butcher one of the creatures right here and have Sato eat it raw so he doesn't pass out again. Can he handle having another mood buff though? How's everybody else doing up here? Hilda finally planting stuff again. This is great. We're doing great, guys. Don't worry. I mean, I keep missing it. The other one, it doesn't do too much to us. Well, you can't break when you're sleeping and they're starving, which is why they're they're upset. Hilda, how are you doing? Malnourished. Pretty bad, yeah. Sato, no. Sato, no. Don't do this, Sato. God damn it, Sato. Dang it, Sato. 12 hours on this one and 11 hours on that one. Come on, graphics, man. You got this. Oh, thank God. All right. Nope. Finish it off. You don't have time to practice. All right. Haul off the alpaca. We'll come back for the other ones later. Sato, you need to leave. Go home. Yeah. Oh, he's already doing it. Okay. Poor Sato. Is he even going to make it back? Just malnourished as he is. Nope. Nope. Butcher. Butcher the animal. Please do that for us. And we will expand this little zone here. Why is Holly tying this, this stuff in? There we go. And now that you have finished that, graphics man, we need you to come back this way yet again and grab us yet another alpaca. But Stallion is finally getting back to work. That's great. Actually, you want to finish that real quick. There we go. Oh my goodness. Life is hard. Life is very hard. Health on these is two hours for this one. No immediate danger for that one. Okay, so. All right. Hold the alpaca, please. The alpaca. The wacky alpaca. Bring us back our alpaca. <laughs> what do we want to name this place? Hmm. What do we want to name this colony? I think the wacky alpaca. Doesn't sound right. Crash site. There we go. The wacky alpaca is stationed on the crash site. The wacky alpaca. No, don't do that. How dare any of you ever consider eating the meat raw. Forbidden. I will not be playing the game of the food poisoning right now. Graphics man, we need to come back down this way yet again. Cooking again. All right. And then, yes, that's way graphics man. Then who is the most starving here? But Stallion is the strongest minded of you all. I guess Soul needs it more. Yeah. Okay, fine. The table's right there. Oh my goodness. All right, graphics man, are you destined needed location? Yes, you are. Hunt the alpaca. Hunt the alpaca. Don't shoot the timber wolf. Do not shoot the timber wolf. Very good, graphics man. Very good indeed. Who's going to break? Hilda. Why? Oh, you're hungry. Tell me something new, Hilda. Tell me something that is new. We are making progress. Definite progress. All right, butcher this thing. <laughs> and graphics man, just keep cooking these meals up for us. All right, graphics man, good work. Back over there to the next alpaca you go. How's the rice doing? The rice is like only 30% grown. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Where's security at? Okay. We build something like that right there. And then something like that right there. And right there. Graphics man, you made it. Okay, sweet graphics man. Oh, just immediately hit that button and then prioritize hauling. Come on, haul the alpaca. Sato, how could you fail me like that? Sato, how could you fail us like that? Oh my gosh, food is such a difficult thing for us right now. We make club. We literally can't make anything more advanced than these. We're not allowed to. Which sucks. All right, you, where are you? What are you doing? All right, come back this way. What happened to the alpaca? Did they just eat it raw? I think they did. I think that's what happened. Orders, chop wood. Yes, chop wood, chop wood. Chop all the wood around here. Uh, he's already most of the way down there. All right, after he gets this next alpaca, we'll go for the, the turkey. Just reinstall it. That's fun. Yes, we get a penalty, but we lose less food this way. So it's a win in a way. Come on now. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. This is making, he's making it very difficult. All the alpaca. Oh, has someone already moved that for us? Oh, amazing. Bills, add bill, butcher creature, do forever. Structure. Eh. Let's get rid of that. Structure, wooden walls, and a door. There we go. And then for bills. Yes, yes, yes. We need to make a few more bows. Actually, we only need to make another short bow, and then we need to make some clubs. Three clubs ought to do. That ought to do well. very well. If we can get this built before graphics man gets back. Alrighty. Way better yield for once. Come on now. Get away from there. <laughs> Alright, now you're free to do as you please. Very aggressive eaters we have here. Alright, now expand the zone. First thing I want to do is plant a crap ton of corn over here. Man, stop building rooms along this here. Okay, build soil should be the floor as per the usual. This looks, this base looks so freaking janky. Let's claim this whole thing here. Graphics man, you need to go hunt the turkey. Where'd the turkey go, by the way? There's a turkey down here. I don't want to travel that far for the turkey. Where did the turkey go? We had another turkey, didn't we? Did it really go all the way over there? Oh no, it's right here. Animal wargs. These wargs have mutated for unknown reason. Now they are connected with animal trees and therefore became bigger, stronger, and faster than regular wargs. I'd love to tame them. What a beautiful addition to the colony that would be. What the heck? Hilda starved to death. Yeah, we saw that coming. Yeah, there's food has been a pretty, pretty consistent problem so far. That being said, Sato, why don't you come this way and start helping us hunt? No, you, you can return from once you came. Butcher it. Yes. All right. And now, where is there any more meat hanging around here for us? Let's come this way. And then Sato, how are you doing for food wise? Not actually all that bad. All right, this way you come. This way you come. I know you're tired, but this way you come. Just going to keep hunting. Kill Swift, please haul this for us. We're going to try to snag ourselves at least one buffalo. Sweet, separate itself. Oh, no, don't go back. How's it doing health wise? It'll die from its wounds. That's good to know. Take him back this way. Try right, again. I'm just going to wound them all. Very, very not clean way to do things. All right. And then we will finish him off. You can head back. And then the ones that finally come to their wounds will come pick them up later. I don't want to risk enraging buffalo 
it too many times. I don't really have the resources to deal with the wounded people. Whatever. I'll make it look pretty later. And even finally give in to their wounds. This one did. All right. Eric's man come this way. Hopefully no one else is going to starve to death, at least. I'm here and haul the muffalo then if it gave way to death. All righty. We're doing pretty good. They finally kind of settled in too, which is nice. Super nice, actually. Okay. Finally got the food problem taken care of too. Phil Swift is probably doing a lot better health-wise now too. Yeah, the, the cuts are healing up. How's everybody's wounds doing? Looks like everybody has more or less recovered. All right. So we'll go to miscellaneous here. We'll do this and then do camo hide for that. That's actually pretty relevant. Let's just uh, cancel that one. <laughs> Make this into a big old stockpile zone over here. Sato, if you want to come and finish working on that for us, you can get rid of these finally. We fuel this one up already. We're doing pretty good right now. We have to cut all those anyways. We'll set this to allow fresh only. And it can only be foods. Oh yeah, boy, was it a lot of work getting them this far. Down here, we'll make one more room. Get that bed going. Have a better stockpile over this way here soon, hopefully. As floors, we want this place to start looking a lot more homey. And we want people to also start getting a lot better at the things they do. So let's look at recreation. And then we will... Do we not have cloth? Oh uh, yeah, because everything's got to get hauled. All right, work. I'm going to take a minute to work this out. But Stallion is our illuminator. They are definitely a doctor. And they will focus on growing in the pastime. Hmm, what are the skills? So we have Saul, who will probably just be our hauler. And number two will be plant cutting. But a number three, a growing. Phil Swift, the housewife. Pretty funny. Phil Swift's just going to have to grow as well. Be a grower. Actually, Phil Swift can probably just prioritize the uh, cooking and then the planting, cutting as well. We'll put you at a two for cooking. Put you at a one for handling. We'll have you be our animal gatherer. The graphics man will be doing very well for that. And then we have Butt Stallion, the Illuminator. Butt Stallion? We don't really know what we want Butt Stallion to do. I guess Butt Stallion will also be prioritizing the plant cutting and the growing. Definitely focus on the building, both of you. There you go. Hopefully that should sort things out much better. Quest available, the ambush predator. Why not? We can accept with butt stallion. Yes, of course, of course, butt stallion. Now we can do this for the Psylink, I believe, but we're not allowed to, uh, we're not allowed to be friends with them, like use them to get what we need. So that is one thing I have to keep in mind that I can't use uh, them to get off the map. As for the man hunting cat, where is that? Well, Salto, we're getting hit by a cat. Would you like to come this way? I don't know why I did that. We don't have a way to heal our robo buddy. Come here now. Alright, the cat. No, graphics man, no. No reachable, non-reserved. Do we not have a bed that can be used for graphics man? Oh, well, graphics man's gonna die. That sucks. Phil, if you would please stabilize graphics man. Wild boars, huh? How are you doing, young one? Oh, yes, you're gonna haul the boar. I mean, the, the animal here, yes. Very good, very good. Hey, he actually survived. Holy crap. Why don't you equip your bow first? That's like a hack, almost, because you're not able to do any work on the robots unless you have, uh, what is it, the nano kits? So that was an interesting change right there. As for research... We're gonna have to research pemmican because we are allowed to make pemmican and pemmican is going to be incredibly useful for us. So production, simple research bench. And I guess we'll have to make a room dedicated just to that, won't we? Like we might. All right, structure won't be the, the best room in the house, but it is going to be a room. Room nonetheless. Okay, you, the praetor, where are you at? You need to leave in nine hours. So when you're done hauling dead things, you do well to get on the, the ship there. All right, here, just go get in the shuttle. But stallion is now a freeholder. How wonderful. Let's set our current research to, where is it at? Pemmican, yes. And everybody can research. Your research needs to be done. Do furniture, give you a chair, and give you a light, and a plant pot. How wonderful. Graphics Man's just an awful, awful shape right now. Terrible shape, in fact. Who's the designated hauler, by the way? Graphics Man was working on it, wasn't he? This little teeny tiny office space. All right. Let it happen. Let it happen. Let Butt Stallion become a freeholder with psychic powers. Allow it to happen. Phil Swift, where are you at, Phil Swift? Phil Swift, why don't you consume this over here, too? So now Phil Swift has psychic powers, and then Butt Stallion over here can come this way and do her bestowing ceremony. We have two psychic colonists. Two psychic scavengers. Ooh, very special. Very fun. But Stallion, what'd you get? What was your reward? You have stun. All right. So we have pain block and stun. Whatever. It just looks nice. Who cares? We need to get the pemmican thing researched and then make a ton of pemmican before we start moving around a bunch. Got an eclipse? Ooh. Well, we have no electricity, so that doesn't really affect us much now, does it? Now, what we really should be growing? Interesting. Very interesting. Well, we'll just plant more smoke leaf here. Lots of it, in fact. Ton of it. This is going to be what we trade. This is where our money comes from. Oh, yes, indeed. I'm actually kind of excited for this. This is going to be pretty fun. <laughs> also, orders for hauling. Haul these urgently. Get these out of here. That's just a hazard. Honestly, all of it's just a hazard. All these rocks. Things for enemies to hide behind. Well, let's get that hauled immediately. Good to know we have one bit of fuel root. Get medicine, finally. Why don't we just make another campfire over here, to be honest? It's too bad we can't do the field stove. There's a limit to the technology we can use, I believe, and that would be crossing the line. So, we'll 
the temperature here and make another campfire over here. Let's make it in the middle. Recreation, where's that at? Oh, there it is. Then once again, security. Where's security at security? There we go. That should do us nicely enough, I think. Why the two of you would be fighting, I don't understand. How are you doing? No immediate danger. Sato, how are you? No immediate danger. Sa Sato, what the hell? Sato. He's just planting the plant. Why you gotta be a jerk? Is this unroofed? No, it's roofed. There's still trees in there. How strange. Finally making progress with this colony, you guys. Finally making progress with the colony. Disease infection to where? To whom? Who is our best medical here? But Stallion, please get up and go tend to him, please. We do have the one heal route, so thank God for that. Can we even trade with these people? I don't believe so. I think they're just here, present. Yeah, seems to be the case. Okay. An anima bear. This extremely rare bear has mutated for unknown reasons. Now it's connected. The anima bear is capable of using its message. That'd be a good pet to keep around, a psychic soothe bear. Do we have anybody who's like scheduled one in construction? And then Butt Stallion over here who's just constantly tending. Phil Swift. Where is our anima tree at? Oh my gosh, it's all the way over there. That's awful. That's too far. Who is our best researcher anyways? Graphics man is. Oh, that's bad. And the robot has to learn for you. What is it that's rusted? His whole body is rusted. Unfortunate. You know, if you build it on that side, you won't be able to come back, correct? Probably build a door. Might be a good idea. That is something else there, Phil Swift. You should probably stay there and practice much longer. Okay. How are we doing on the growing of the things? Just slow and steady progress. Let's watch as time passes by. spy. What the heck? Sato, weren't you supposed to be resting? Who has the infection major human? Sato. Phil Swift is just savage. A heat wave? It's entirely possible that Phil Swift over here just wanted to kill Sato. There's a secret murderers. Sato, how are you doing? Is there any more heal root around here? We're gonna need more. Phil Swift, this is your fault. Go get the heal root. This is your fault. No, you're not done yet. Finish the job. Cannot finish off him. He has developed immunity. Thank goodness. That being said, temperature control is going to be a bit of an issue for us going forward. Build a couple of these just for now. Try to avoid any temperature related issues. Sato, where are you? Sato. Animals. Oh, we actually tamed them. Sweet. Beautiful. Graphics man. Beautiful job. Graphics man. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> It's gonna have more. <laughs> yeah, we do need more wood, don't we? All right, tree chopping time. Wait, whose job is my cutting? Oh gosh, why would you hunt Sato? Sato did nothing to you, Sato. I tried to lure it into the trap. All right, Sato, I guess come this way. It's a very aggressive timber wolf. All right, run this way, Sato. And graphics man, where are you? Graphics man, no, shoot the timber wolf, graphics man. Oh, thank goodness. I already got it. Sweet. And then you probably should uh, rest until healed. Yes, mad cougar. These things are just happening one after the other, aren't they? Have we even built all the bows yet that we were supposed to make? No, I had it. I had the work scheduled. I, I think no one did it. No, no, you can go inside now. Go that way. So you're gonna have to get up and come over here. Arx man, one shot and you miss. Come back this way. Oh, what the heck? That's not fun. Equip wood. Oh, graphics man, no. Graphics man, no. Graphics man, no. Graphics man. This way. Sato, it's not worth it. No, Sato. May I attack the cougar, Sato? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, who is our best medical professional that we have on hand? Butt Stallion, quickly. Go and stabilize Graphics Man. My word. My word. <laughs> no immediate danger for Graphics Man. That's good. That's very good. Graphics Man needs to get much better at using his bow. And we need to get better weapons. We're not able to build the, the robo beds. So Graphics Man just has to lay on the ground until he decides he can get up. I think it's going to be doing us well to just have uh, Graphics Man focus on construction as well. <laughs> My word. Come on now. Butt Stallion. I realize Graphics Man is probably the only one of us that can do most of the work that he does. Where is he at? Yeah, uh, just get to growing, my dude. So we have our two muffalo here. Is, uh, yeah. We have two muffalo and we have our farms going. Graphics Man is going to start growing our crops for us, which is nice. And hopefully we'll get this lined up with the traps as well. I'm going to do it differently instead of doing the normal kill box style. I'm going to do rows like this and just have it go outward. That's how we will protect our settlements because I think it'll be less costly and uh, well, probably higher risk of us getting killed by this thing will be more interesting. Other than that, I think we're going to end this episode here. We will do some stuff behind the scenes to progress a little bit uh, or maybe not. Depends. And I'll see you guys all in part two. So peace out, you guys, and enjoy your week as you wait for our next guide, which should be here in a couple days.